morning. Right, um, today we're going to be going over uh, some of the uh, lures. I mean, I've covered all. I think all my lures in the uh, in the other videos. However, I've got some that, that I'd like to talk about. Whether you find it interesting or not, I've got a little bit of the story behind them. Some of them, see, like um, when I uh, first started lure fishing, right back in the eighties. Seems like ages ago, doesn't it? You know, how how I, what the equipment we use compared to today's is quite unbelievable, to be honest. So anyway, let's get into the video. Right then, so before we get into the first lure that I'm going to show you from back in the day, um... I used to work at a, a radiator factory in Ramsgate. I mean, I was there for about nine years. And uh, the, the bloke who I actually worked with, he was he was like a, a really, really good fisherman. Do you know what I mean? He was used to fish competitions. And, you know, he, I actually bought a rod off him that belonged to an England international. So he pretty much knew, knew his stuff. I mean, I went fishing with a couple of times. I learned so much about you know, peeler crabs, we'd catch bloody codling. I'd never, never caught so many fish, that style of fishing, bait fish. Anyway, one day he was telling me about, um, that he'd been fishing off a point off of Margate and uh, quite, a, quite a common sort of point for fishing, for bass fishing nowadays anyway. And um, he said that he's, he's, he's been lure fishing, he started lure fishing and uh, he, uh, he was telling me all about his gear and uh, he said he uses a carp rod. He's got a, an Abu Cardinal reel with a um, Maxima line, which was obviously nylon. And uh, he said he used to use these things called arc minnows. And I never really thought anything about it. Anyway, he told told me, he said, well, you should come down one night. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm always, always, nearly always get one every time I go. So, um... Basically, I'd gone down there and sure enough, four o'clock in the morning, Jesus, shocked the system. Would you actually go just before we'd we'd go to work? So, you know, I'd be in my wellies, he'd be in his waders, so he would be in the water and I'd be standing behind him because I wasn't going to get bloody soaking wet, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'd never do that now, go in wellies. Oh, it's not heard of. Anyway, um, what, what had happened was he would always tell me, oh, you've got to be really quiet. We never had lights or nothing because it was coming up, you know, it was coming up to, to the light was just coming. The, the, the sun was coming up anyway at that, that, that sort of time in the morning. And uh, anyway, he was used to say to me that, you know, that's it. Once you get one, you, you won't get another one because you'll you'll spook them off. We know nowadays that that is totally, totally not, not, not true. It definitely ain't. Anyway, so... Um, Obviously, I'd go down there. I'd go down there with him. He'd cast out. I'd be putting my line through the thing. He'd go, I'm in. I think, oh, for fuck's sake, Jesus, it was a waste of time we come in there, really, isn't it? Because we ain't going to catch any more. Anyway, I'll still carry up. I mean, I caught the odd mackerel and a bloody garfish, do you know what I mean? But that was it. It was only ever one. But I know that's definitely, definitely not true. anyway one of the last times that we had actually gone you know we had same old scenario I'd, I'd tackle up bloody i'd make sure i was ready when in you know now because i was getting fed up and not catching any and i never ever ever caught a bass i hadn't caught a bass up there not even bait fish i've never caught a bass i don't think there was so many of oh, us to know around then i well, i really don't know I'd, I'd love to go back in time i have to go and have a world with dr o getting his tardis or something the only way we're going to find out isn't it? anyway we um this last time, the, one of the last times we went, I remember, I'll never forget it. First bloody cast, this first cast, 12 pounder straight away, that was it. And then bloody old 10 minutes later, he had another one, four pound, which was unheard of. I mean, he always told me, you only can catch one, that's it. Anyway, that was that little th theory out of the way. So basically what we used was these things called arc minnows. By Yozuri, I think they are. And anyway, uh, years later, like a few years ago, I thought, Jesus, I've got all these kimono too, zonks and bloody all these lures. Nothing like, like what we used back then. Anyway, so um, 
I had a little look on eBay. I mean, I, I tried loads of times. Nothing. Never saw nothing like it. I saw these lot crystal minnows. I mean, I've got one here. Oh, you bloody thing. Crystal minnow, you know. Great big bloody hooks. But that's from nowadays, not from, from back then. Anyway, one day I was going through the internet and I looked on eBay again. And sure enough. It popped up. The old minnow is exactly the same. I recognise it. So anyway, I waited for about three weeks for it to turn up. And when it turned up, <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> it's, it's tiny. Anyway, I thought, what the fucking hell is that? What is that? I mean, that's an action man lure, isn't it? Anyway, so what basically was, I never looked at the weight. I never, saw, I never thought about looking at the way. I was just so pleased to see that I'd found that blimmin' art minnow. I tell you the other thing about him. You look, that's actually a, a got a lime green that actually glows in the dark. Now, we caught on them back then. So, well, I didn't. He did. I mean, I caught like I said, not on this one. Anyway, cut a long story short. I did get managed to get track one down the art minnow. Look at it. That is what he I've seen a twelve pounder come up on that. And great big blimmin' hooks. I mean look at the size of them. And that was the first lure I'd got. I must admit I lost about three of these because they just seemed to go straight down to the bottom. And off that ground, you're gonna you know, you've got to be careful what you're what you're chucking out there. Like we can't really use like savage gear eels, you know, not unless there's a, you know, not unless that, uh, we've got a quite a bit of depth there, but he, uh, he never really lost them. And that was, that was the first lure I'd got. Obviously I got into it then and got some others. I'm going to, I'm going to show you them now. <laughs> back on I've had me a little bit of lunch oh yeah right I couldn't find it I looked for it everywhere this lure but uh I've got it now I know for a fact I've seen this come up on the Facebook pages loads of times but when I ordered this back back in the day back in the 80s I thought I was being really clever now here it is I'm sure loads of you have seen it it seems to have gone up a notch since the technology seems to have gone up a bit since the old yozo now the hooks are uh smaller still pretty big though for, for that lure now that is what are they bloody called a rapala a rapella rapala whatever you want to call it now that used to swim like a demon i you know I'm tempted to take it back down and have a little go of it but as with this lure and so many over lures over the years i bought one one another one and lost it first cast straight in the weed i lost it snapped me off because it remember nylon lost it anyway that's the um rapala but like i say that's an old lure look at jesus but that i've seen that come up loads i've seen that in people's lure collections loads of times that's a classic that is I was, I was getting a bit cocky then I was I started ordering lures I'm not at the rate that you know that I'd got today I'm nowhere near what I've got today but uh, it is called the Abu Tormentor it's not bad again a little bit smaller aren't they the hooks are a little bit just about yeah smaller that's the Abu Tormentor I actually got two of them never caught anything never caught even caught a bass ever back in the 80s never caught a bass never and that's the other pattern <laughs> i was getting experimental see buying two patterns of the same lure never caught any on a motor that's uh that's another story right i think apart from one more i'm gonna show i can't even think where it come from to be honest it's been in my um i've even in the treble of it look it's this little orange thing now I have actually caught on that, believe it or not, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't a bass. 
it was actually a brown trout up in uh, up in the Lake District. So that's served its purpose. Never you never tried it. It's too too frail. That thing ain't gonna go nowhere. But you never never know. Do you know what I mean? The past ain't always a long way out. Somewhere they might be close. I don't really know anyone that's. I haven't got one other orange lure. I've got orange bits on my lures, you know, like little bits under the belly, but not a pure, pure orange one like that. I wonder. Right, moving swiftly on. Now, this is when I was getting really cocky. Still haven't caught any bass. Never, never did. This was called, this, I don't even know what it's called. I don't know what make it is or anything, but this has got, so I thought I was being clever. When I looked in the old uh, mail order catalogs, because you didn't always see pictures of the lures, it was just the names of them. Well, nowadays you can see them all, can't you? And this has just got a magnetic system in it. So it says. So obviously I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Maybe they was working out that the, uh, the way the, the lures were shaped back then, you know, the weight, because of the weight, there was no sort of weight in the head. Like nowadays, obviously, because that, obviously, if you cast them that bit, the weight transfers, that's what they have in the lures now, the ball bearings that shoot to the front. And then that's how they, some some cast really well. well I think so, anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, anyway, there's that thing. Now, I'll tell you a little funny story. No, it's not really funny, actually. I must have lost, a couple of years ago, about five bass, right? All of them straightened out my hooks. Now, this is what happens when you buy shit, shit, crap gear that's cheap, sometimes off AliExpress. I can't think where I got them. Not only were my hooks crap, the little rings that I got, not on this one, these these are the hooks, but obviously I haven't used that. I just I just put, replaced them because they were obviously old hooks, probably the size of anchors, like I said, you know, and... Um, I'd put these on, so I hadn't actually. I haven't used this lure. It's been been in the in, in in another box somewhere for ages. I just got them out to show you. But these hooks, I'd lost about five fish. They must have been decent. Straightened them right out. And once they've actually bent, I don't know what type they were, but I'm saying about buying shitty, shitty cheap bloody hooks doesn't do. Don't do yourself no favour. You're better off getting the bloody good ones. They they'd straighten out. Fish so bloody annoying, I tell you. Anyway, and it's almost like when I got home and I thought I'm gonna bloody check because this has all happened in, a, in in the in the space of a couple of days because I'd changed bloody everything, every all of my rusty hooks, I'd changed them all. And I once you actually bent them a little bit, that was it. They're finished. You could virtually bend them with your fingers like they went to lead. It's all that nickel plating or chrome plating would crack off. That was it. They were finished anyway. That's another one of them little beauties I got back then. Look at it. Absolute beautiful looking look. I wonder. I take them hooks off. I'd love to go down and just, you know, when I know the fish are there, and just to try. I don't know, it's not always about catching. I'm, I'm quite happy to go down and just catch bloody one, to be honest. At least, at least it's not a blank, you know. So one day when them old bass are steaming into everything, not very often, but it does happen, I might chuck one of these on or chuck one of them golden oldies on i'm going to start taking them with me anyway that's the end of that magnetic system f that's what it is i don't know what I'll make it is at all right then so the uh Next little ditty, and this is the last one in the um, in the uh, going back in time, going back to the uh, to the eighties. We never ever caught a bass. Is this one? It's called the, uh, the chuck bug. Now, it's a strange looking thing, isn't it? But you do get. You know, the pat. This pattern has actually carried on because people. You know. Companies, I think it's Storm, is it? They make chug bugs. There are different types of chug bugs that you can get, whether they're any good or not. I actually haven't got any, you know, modern day uh, chug bugs, but that was the one back then. I think the closest I've got to it is um, is the Duo Pencil Popper. Let's have a look. Where is it? 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, look, we'll see. Not quite the same, but it's got the same sort of mouth. Bloody good little look, look, I must admit. You know, the same sort of mouth, but I walk the dog, you know, with, um, with obviously a, a, <coughs> a chug bug, one like a popper, you would obviously pop it through the water. Does that obviously pushes and splashes you know, splashes the water out of the way oh yeah look there's the other one there's the gold one the gold version i had two of them see like i was, I was getting a bit cocky then i was getting really into it and it's still got an original mono on it look at that would you adam and eve it still got it on there i should cut that off already shouldn't i but look yeah, still the original works and not, not that bad to be honest and different then i think they're galvanized galvanized still i think you know no, no, I tell you what I think of the worst dukes for that. It's in bloody tackle house feed shallows. You know, I've just done a big article about about tackle house feed shallows. I mean, I mean, I really like the lures, but if any out of all my lures, they are the ones that have got their uh, hooks changed. Anyway, that's the end about the old lures. I'm going down to uh, Antiques Roadshow this weekend. <laughs> See if no, if not really, I'd never sell them. You got to keep them, haven't you? Brings back memories, good ones, but not for catching bass. Anyway, thanks for watching. Right, well that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching and all that. I must point out, in the 80s, back in the 80s when I didn't catch any fish, well, no bass, anyway. Oh, what is it? I didn't fish right the way through the 80s. I'd, I'd started lure fishing, had a little go, didn't didn't really happen for me to be honest you know like I said we was going first thing in the morning before work I'd only been a few times with him obviously other things had come along I'd left that job so I didn't see that geezer anymore you know the one who, who taught me about uh, or introduced me to lure fishing I basically started about eight years ago and that's obviously where I learned loads because obviously I met the bass man taxi driving and he sort of uh, he took me along and uh, well, I've not looked back since so I absolutely love it Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and also don't forget if we've got a free ebook on the uh, on the website, you can go there and subscribe or whatever and download it. And you know, if you're new to fishing, I mean, if you've been fishing ages, it probably you know lure fishing, it probably ain't going to be no good to you anyway. But like I say, it's absolutely free. And um, basically, that's it. So we'll be we have to be covering some other topics. Get off these lures. I mean. You know, we've covered quite a few, to be honest, different types and all that. We want to get into actually catching the bass and some live videos when we're off this COVID-19 thing. Once we're all off lockdown, get back fishing, get back and catch some bloody bass. <laughs>